AABIP video educational series, Illumisite Equipment Overview. Procedure Bed Requirements The procedure bed should not have any obstruction underneath the center to head of the bed. This will allow the C-arm to come fully under the bed and image all areas of the thorax. These blue lead aprons provide additional protection from radiation scatter. Location Board the location board is necessary to help generate an electromagnetic field. The board is positioned underneath the patient and oriented with the cord towards the feet and the yellow dot towards the head. The board is positioned underneath the mattress and oriented as shown here. The patient's torso is directly above the location board. This image shows a fully assembled bed. Lead aprons, the bed, location board, mattress, slider to help move the patient, and a sheet. The location board cable is at the foot of the bed and attaches to the lumicite tower. Required fluoroscopy C-arms. The GE 9800, 9900, and Philips Pulsera 12-inch are the only compatible C-arms to perform digital tomosynthesis with the lumicite. This is a GE 9800 C-arm, and this is the corresponding monitor. These are the C-arm foot pedals. The pedal shaded blue is standard fluoroscopy. The yellow shaded foot pedal is high intensity fluoroscopy used for digital tomosynthesis. Catheter types, extended working channel, locatable guide, and catheter assembly. Catheters come in three types of curves, 180 degree, 90 degree, and 45 degree. This is a locatable guide with the proximal end that attaches to a cable and the distal end. On the right is the extended working channel without the locatable guide inserted and on the left is locatable guide inserted into the extended working channel. This is an example of locatable guide and catheter extended working channel assembly. The locatable guide is inserted into the extended working channel and locks into place. Here the cables to the locatable guide and the extended working channel are attached. First, the black locatable guide cable is attached and then the blue extended working channel cable is attached. Next is the anatomy of the lumicite tower. This highlighted section will be discussed first. The CD-ROM drive is where burned DICOM CT images or already planned procedures can be uploaded. DICOM images or plans can also be uploaded by a USB drive. The power indicator light is turned on. However, do not turn the system on or off at this switch. Instead, turn the system on or off at the main switch as shown here. Next is cable attachment. The blue extended working channel cable is attached at either of these two locations. The black locatable guide cable is attached here. The patient sensor cable is attached here. And the location cable board is plugged in here. On the back of the tower, there are three cable attachments that will allow the images to appear on the tower. First, the bronchoscope white light attachment. Second is the fluoroscopy attachment. This is necessary for digital tomosynthesis. And there is a radial endobronchial ultrasound attachment to allow images to appear on the tower. This is where the fluoroscopy cable is attached to the GE 9800C arm monitor. Summary of equipment overview. First, have the correct bed. Second, position the location board correctly. Use the correct C-arm. Have knowledge of the foot pedal functions. Become familiar with the types of catheters and their curves. Be aware of LG and extended working channel assembly. And finally, it is important to have knowledge of the cable connections on the Illumisite tower.